On Valentine's, I love to have my whole house filled with flowers and candles. In order to afford all the flowers that I need, I usually take a trip to my neighborhood supermarket. There's a section there for discounted flowers and I can always find really nice bunches for just $2 each. So I bought as many red and pink flowers as I could find and they were all in pretty good condition. Some were 99 cents, the roses were $7 each. I got these gladiolas for $2.15 a bunch. The carnations were $1.25, but it was a really great deal. And I think I spent about $30 on all the flowers I have here. Since these flowers are older, I like to get them right before Valentine's, maybe the day before. But you could check with your supermarket and ask them when they put out the discounted flowers. I got these from Kroger's and they always discount flowers when they get a new shipment in. So let's start with the dining room. I'll use the three vase that I use for my Christmas centerpiece and make a Valentine's display. For my table setting I'm using simple white dishes and white napkins set on a gold rim glass charger plate and I'm tying pieces of sheer red ribbon around each napkin. I'm going to use the tall pink gladiolas. I think they'll give the center vase a nice, simple, elegant look. I'm crisscrossing the stems so that they have a nice woven look. At the bottom of the vase, I'm filling it with a few glass beads. I'm putting them in each vase. For the two side vases, I want to float pink carnations. I'm cutting the stems completely off and putting three in each face. I fill them all with water and I'm topping the two side pieces with a couple of floating tea candles. All the roses that I do get, I like to hang on to them, so I hang them upside down and dry them. Since I have a lot of these, I'm going to use my dried roses to decorate my buffet table. I'm filling the silver bowls and crystal candle holders with dry rose buds. This gives the table a nice old fashioned romantic look. I exchanged my paper flowers that were in this vase for a, a ball of dried roses. I used this last year as a lover's mistletoe. You can click here if you want to see how I made this romantic ball of roses. Speaking of roses, I wanted to display as many fresh ones as I can around the house. Nothing says Valentine's better than red roses. I'm using a couple of gravy and serving bowls to display my roses. I'm cutting the roses short enough so that just the head of the roses will be seen out of the top of the bowls. Then I'm adding some leaves around the base. In this bowl I'm adding a little variation with a few pink sweet William flowers. I'm also using the Sweet Williams flowers in a square vase filled with rocks and water. On my coffee table, I'm using one square and two round candle vaults and a few stem shot glasses to create a warm setting in our family room. I'm floating roses and carnations in each, filling it with water and lighting tea candles to create a warm, cozy atmosphere. I use the rest of the flowers to make bouquets to sprinkle around the house. I 
even added a few bouquets of my homemade paper roses. Click here if you want to learn how to make these. So this Valentine's, let your family feel your love as they walk into each room. A lovely home filled with flowers can be just a supermarket stop away. 